Hey, Penny Bash, it's the 15th of January, 2019. And this article that I just saw kind of triggered me to go back to the other day when I was looking at these cards here. We were talking about the church, the decapitation, all these things. And I noticed the death card. And earlier in that day, what led me to this, it's very, very strange, but it's interesting nonetheless. Uh, in some reading I was doing, I was in Matthew. And in Matthew 117, which relates directly to Solomon, which I'm not going to get into in this video, but uh, it's talking about the generations all the way from Abraham to Christ and how there were three sets of 14 generations, okay? And so I went and looked, and, you know, I guess the best I can find uh, is that Abraham was on the earth, I guess, until 1996 B.C., okay? So that would be 1996 years till Christ with 14 generations, three sets of 14 generations, 42 in total. Okay, so it made me think, well then, from Christ until 1996, just 23 years ago, right, would be in that same time frame, the, the end uh, of that last 14th generation, the 42nd generation, if you will. We would be 23 years into that, right? And so I took that and I just went 2019 and divided it by the three to see how many years is that in between. 673 is what I'm going with because we're in the year 2019, right? So my mind is thinking, I don't think normal, but that's just the way that is. Uh, but I remembered about the Trump to this coming 21st, 607 days, the 67, but also the 670, just like the 673. So, you know, and we're talking rough years. I don't think anybody knows the exact years, but we're pretty doggone close. You know what I mean? Especially if you're thinking from 1996... We are in that last generation in the 23rd year of that last generation. That That's something to me. Anyway, so what it caused me to do, really, is to divide. I divided the, the three, gener three sets of 14, and each was 673 years. And it made me just go back from 2019, 600 minus 673 years. Okay? And it brings us to 1346. And what's really interesting and just crazy how this stuff comes about. I, I can't even explain how it comes. But the year 1346 was the year that the Black Death began. Okay, 673 years ago. And that was like probably one of the most... I couldn't even imagine what it was like to live then. That, that in that, that took the entire known world at the time and just devastated it, okay? 673 years ago. So then, of course, if we divide that, we take the 673 off of that, it's going to give us an even 673 because it divides evenly into 2019. That That's interesting in itself. So, in the year 673, interestingly enough, there was a very bad uh, epidemic going on. The same thing. The plague. And it, and it came and it rose and spread everywhere over this whole period of time here. But right in that time frame, the 670s, okay, it was hitting the British Isles in those years. Interestingly enough. So... There was a worldwide plague that, I mean, check this out, people. 25 to 50 million people, 40% of the population in all these places. That's crazy. And it's so, all I'm saying is we're in that time frame. It's, it's, and then I saw this article this morning 
and it just kind of caused me to go back to it. You know, and then I'm reading through this article, of course, and everything about it, the 609. When I see these types of combinations of numbers, it causes me to kind of perk up, you know? It's just, you know, I can't help it. So I got to share it, you know, because these things are coming is the bottom line. You know, you need to be in Christ, and it's just that simple. I, I'll say it over and over and over again until I can't say it anymore. Jesus is the foundation on which to build everything on in this life and beyond. So that's where the focus needs to be first. And I pray that it is. And everything else just is given to us. His will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So I hope that blesses someone, makes sense at all, but it just seems to me that it's uh, due for plague if you were you were to go by the pattern and i see patterns and that is what i see so i don't like to bring these kinds of things out and use these kinds of means to do it but you know it speaks through the spirit this is a spiritual war and this is how we see it praise god so hope that blesses somebody peace and grace to y'all many fish finally my brethren be strong in the Lord, and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 